Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and these are my top 10 apps to start 2018. So, let's take a look. So first up we have the Arco Icon Pack. Now this is a really nice material design and also extremely colourful icon pack and as you can see I review a ton here on the channel but this one definitely stood out to me recently. It's got around 1,900 custom icons at the moment. Now there are only around 7 wallpapers included but for me icon packs are more about the icons and not about the wallpapers. As you can see here you've got a ton of different icons to choose from and you do also have some alternative icons for certain applications as well so if something isn't skinned chances are you can find something very similar but there is also an icon request tool built into the application as well. As I mentioned the icons themselves are extremely bright and colourful and they look really nice especially on an AMOLED screen as you can see here. Now these seven built in wallpapers aren't necessarily the best and I'm hoping some come further down the line but as I mentioned it's all about the icons. Battery meter settings is a very simple application but one that I think can add something really nice to any Android setup. It puts a battery percentage at the top of your bar as you can see just here and it integrates extremely nicely. You've got four different themes and also three different settings to choose from so you can get that look that you want on any Android setup. You can also change the levels as well so if you want it to go red at a certain percentage or orange then you can do it. It's really easy to do that as well allowing you to easily tell when your battery is low without having to have a battery percentage in the top right hand corner this just adds a little bit of flair to an ordinarily boring thing you've also got some other options as well that are part of the paid pro key but i wouldn't necessarily go for this at the moment you're looking at spending an extra 179 on this and for me it doesn't necessarily add anything to the application that isn't already one of the main key features if you're a fan of something like the essential phone with the notch at the top of the device and you've got an amoled screen this can look really nice Insole is quickly becoming one of my favourite wallpaper applications but it's not necessarily because of the wallpapers. Now don't get me wrong you've got a ton of really awesome wallpapers to choose from, around 578 currently and they're a mixture of photography and there's also some graphics in there as well with some vectors. You've also got some options for favourite and you can also create your own tint wallpaper as well which is a really nice way to get a really awesome gradient wallpaper straight within the application itself. So if I choose this yellow colour here you can see then that it fades into the blue and I can then set it as my wallpaper straight from this screen which is really awesome. You've also got collections built in as well for different wallpapers but my favourite bit has to be the personalisation section. What this actually allows you to do is check out complete setups with the home screen, wallpaper, icons and widgets and then get all of that information for yourself. So as you can see here it gives you an example of what it's going to look like on a device. It's just a blank canvas but you can see what it looks like and then you've got the option to download as I mentioned the wallpaper, the icons, launcher and also the widgets. Now if you have the pro version you can also download a full backup as well which makes it super easy to get this on any Android device. So if you're out there looking for some really awesome ideas and you're looking for something that's a little bit different then this is the wallpaper application of choice but there are some ads that you have to contend with but that's what you get for a free application if however you want all of the features without any of the ads you're going to be looking at around 139 to get that key Material Notification Shade is a really awesome way to get the notification shade from Android Oreo on any device. You've also got some options in terms of changing the background colour, the columns themselves and also changing the text colour as well but for me the theming option for Oreo is definitely the main part of this application. It may sound strange but for a while I've been envious of Pixel users for one very specific reason, the Spotify widget within the notification shade. As you can see here it takes exactly what you get on Android Oreo and puts it on your Android device. Once you're listening to Spotify music it has some really nice artwork and also some colour matching text as well that just adds a little bit of visual flair to the notification shade that you wouldn't ordinarily get with most Android devices unless they're running the latest version of Android or you've shelled out the money for a Pixel device. 
It's a really simple change, but one that I really appreciate, and to get it free of charge is a really awesome added feature. Meteor mixes up the formulation of testing your internet speeds. Now don't get me wrong, it can still do that in terms of giving you your ping, download speed, and also your upload speed, but it adds some additional features in regards to letting you know what kind of services you can use with those internet speeds, and what kind of experience you're gonna be getting. So as you can see here, it's recognized some applications down the bottom in terms of YouTube, Chrome, and also Spotify. And if I go into the YouTube section, you can see here that I can do pretty much everything with really good internet connection. So whether that's streaming 720 or 1080p video, as you can see here, it says that it's going to be perfectly fine. Everything with Chrome is fine as well. And also Spotify, apart from downloading maybe some high quality music, but to be honest, I've never really had too much of a problem with that. You've also got the Meteor Monster, which actually is quite handy, which I thought was gonna be a bit annoying at first. And all it does is basically give you information for any screen that you're looking at within the application itself. So if I head over to the history panel and then click on the monster in the top left there, you can see it's gonna give me information about what I'm currently looking at. However, if you want to dismiss it, you can do just by swiping it down to the bottom of the home screen. Navbar animations is a really awesome way to mix up the look and feel of your navigation bar if you've got on-screen buttons like you see here. You've got some really awesome themes, including Star Wars, um, I mean, Space Wars. Um, and as you can see here, some of them are unfortunately going to be paid. So if you do want to, you can go ahead and upgrade to the pro version of the application for 149. However, if you wanna stick with the free options, there's a ton here to choose from that look extremely nice. One of my favorites is actually in the basic section and it's just towards the bottom here as you can see and it reminds me a lot of what you get on the Pixel device. So if I go on the home button as you can see here, it adds a really nice flair to the bottom there as you can see, just mixing it up a little bit from the boring normal animation that you're getting on Android at the moment. The only game on this list that we're gonna be looking at is Polyforge, and that's just because it's a really simple, easy to play, and you don't really have to put too much time into it puzzle game. Now I use the term puzzle game lightly, as to me, it's more of a skill-based shooter. As you can see here, all you need to do is tap on the arrow to get it to hit every side to change the color. Now it can get a little bit complicated, so what I'm gonna do is just jump into the settings real quick and go back to some other levels. And as you can see here, the gameplay itself is really simple to get used to, and it can get really Really complicated the further on that you go. Now you can sometimes spam the button to get as many hits as you can in one, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that because you've got more chance of hitting one that you've already coloured. But if you're looking for a really awesome game with some nice visuals and some really great music, then Polyforge is definitely the one to go for. Shortcutter is a really awesome application to allow you to add more quick toggles and buttons into a notification shade. And the great thing is you don't have to have any root access whatsoever. This is gonna work on pretty much any Android device currently that has any sort of notification shade. You can add some options that you wouldn't normally get like font scaling, haptic feedback, and also shortcuts for certain applications as well, as well as getting access to things like your RAM and your storage management. And it's a really quick and simple way to get some extra customization to something that really isn't all that exciting to start with. System panel is for all those nerds out there, including myself, that wanna get as much information about their device as possible. So whether that's memory, storage, battery, or a ton of different things, including the radios and all of your device information, this is the application for you. It's got everything that you could think of and also ways that you can use it to see exactly what's going on as well. For instance, you can see here how healthy the battery is. So if that is getting a little bit bad at the moment, at least you can see for yourself without someone going ahead and changing it straight away, you know, like Apple have done recently but as you can see here you've got all the information in regards to CPU usage display on time battery usage and it's just a great way to get a ton more information about the device you're using that gives you way more options than in the normal system settings now I know this is a list of 2018 applications to get you started, but for me, Weather Timeline is my weather application of choice and it has been since my Nexus 4 days. It's a really great material design weather application. It's really simple to use, but has a ton of information if you need it. In terms of the settings, you've got a load here to choose from, but for me, the best thing is changing the theming options. If I change it to material design and then change the icon set to match that as well, so down here with material, you can then see that it completely changes the look of the application application itself. So this allows you to get the look and feel that you want and these theming options carry over onto the widgets which are some of the best Android widgets for weather that I've personally seen. You've also got the option to look at some live weather maps and also see the cycle of the moon as it currently is but for me this is my weather application of choice. 
And that's going to do it guys for my top 10 applications for Android to start off 2018. If you guys have got any more recommendations I may do a follow up video so let me know in the comments section down below or on Twitter at copper versus glass if you've got any recommendations you want me to take a look at. If you guys did enjoy this video or if you're using any of these applications let me know by hitting that thumbs up down below and for more great content moving forward into 2018 don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.